And we have another question. We've got another video question. We'll take it. Here we go. Here we go. Shauna. Is it uh, Shauna? Sana or Shauna? Yes. Sana. Yes, they're both. <laughs> Sana. Sana. Hi, Sana. <laughs> well, it's a nice uh, to see it's you. Yes. Hi. Nice, nice to see Hi. you. Thanks for uh, taking me. Nice to see you, too. Hi. Um, Do you have a question for us? <laughs> Sorry, I'm... Uh, Where yes, are you from? I'm a bit nervous. I'm from Austria. Austria. Oh, wonderful. The Welcome. Central Europe. Yes. Yeah, thanks. Um, so, um, my question is kind of... Um, um, how could I explain? Um, I've been single many years, and uh, I'm kind mm -hmm. of realizing that it's mostly because I'm really afraid of committing to a relationship. I want to, I really want mm -hmm. to find someone, but... Uh, every time I meet someone, I kind of invent a a but why like he's nice but you know this kind of or mm -hmm. or then I'm kind of retreating or a uh, I'm not taking action. The other guy might show that he's interested, but then I'm not doing anything and I I kind of become really passive. And then I also that and I think that also partially I'm kind of just hoping that all my friends get a relationship and I'm like. Here, someone is uh, interested about some of my friends, and I do everything to help him or her to get this person, but I'm not doing anything for myself, and I'm, I'm kind of hoping to have an advice how to how to open up for a for love and relationship, because I really would like to. I'm gonna ask my wife to respond to you. So I'm gonna ask my wife to respond to you, but I want to say something up front, um, which is what this woman's really looking for, gentlemen, as a man to come in and sweep off her feet and be her hero and tear down the dragons and break open her heart. She's looking for that certainty, that level of presence that no matter what she does and doesn't give you feedback, you'll break through. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, there aren't a lot of guys like that mm -hmm. in the world we're in today because most guys have been taught to be feminine. That is, if you don't reinforce them, then they take their energy someplace mm -hmm. else. And so it's a different time for that. But let me ask Sage to respond to you from a woman's perspective about what you shared. And Sana, first off, I just want to say that you're lovely. You're yes. a beautiful feminine woman right. and you're darling and you're beautiful and you're just lovely. And, uh, you know, it goes back to earlier. I, I think if everybody was truthful, uh, we're all scared. You know, no. I wasn't in the beginning. But, you know, it's, it's once again, it's committing to, you know, your heart is dying for love. You are so hungry for love. It's so obvious even looking in your eyes right now just through the screen and you're on the other side of the world. And you deserve that. And the only way that, you know, you're going to know that and experience that at the desire that you desire to be ravaged, you desire to be, you know, loved, you desire to be taken care of, you desire to love and give back and take care of a man is for you to open up and trust and do that leap of faith and give that gift regardless whether you're, you're fearful. Because you know what? You get past that fear and you'll have a man and you'll attract a man who's your reciprocal, who's going to love you and who's going to want to take care of you and who's going to be present for you. And you're just, you're, you're nothing but lovely. You're nothing but lovely. And get past that story and start telling yourself a different one. And one way that you could help yourself to do that, Son, I think, by the way, if, if, what's so beautiful about this technology is you could see Sana's face when Sage was sincerely complimenting her. Mm -hmm. And you see the feminine in her grow, like yeah. his little mm -hmm. smile starts to grow. Yeah. There's an energy there. Cheeks. She's a, she, her cheeks, Precious. you know, it's, she's purely feminine. You yes. have a pure feminine You're energy lovely. here. You're really lovely. And it's why you want to nurture everybody, like yeah. your friends and put them together and help them. So some man's going to be very lucky when he gets you. Okay. But to get there, there is no way around not having faith and courage. Absolutely. We yeah. would not be in a relationship without faith and courage. And courage does not mean that you're not scared. Mm -hmm. It means you're scared, but you do it anyway. Absolutely. There's no way around it. That's what courage is. You're scared to death, but you, you, still, you still go forward. And it's, courage is a habit. Mm -hmm. So is giving up. Mm -hmm. And one way to get you over that habit, Sana, to consider, and I, I'm talking rapidly, so I hope the translation um, is coming through. Are, are you hearing me okay? Yeah. Okay, good. Yep. Um, it's my nature to talk rapidly, I'm sorry. <laughs> um, the, the thing you can do is two things. First is get so, right now you're trying to push through this. Mm -hmm. Pushing doesn't work. You gotta be pulled through it. Mm. And what'll pull you through it is if you can get a magnificent obsession of what you want. Mm. Both of us independently. Mm. I've gotten to the point in my life, I didn't want a relationship. Like the last thing I wanted, all relationship want, was a lack of freedom and, and no real passion and fake love was my opinion of it. You know, Or no one woman would be all the things that I am. I'm this mm. crazy guy. So it'll never work was my, was my story in my head. Mm. But I was smart enough to remember that everything in my life I've created I've done it by first answering a question, which is what do I really want 
and doing it with such detail and such clarity and focusing on it every single day. Meaning I sat down and I wrote out a list. I wrote everything I could possibly want in a relationship. And I went, I was ridiculous. I got myself excited in state. I said, I'm sure this isn't possible, but if it was, what would I have? And I described the sense of humor. I described the sense of looks, the sense of spirituality, the, the way we would interact, how we would do things. I went to a level of depth for five pages. I still have these notes to this day and describe the ultimate relationship. But I did one more thing, Tucson. I wrote down everything I wouldn't want in a relationship. Because sometimes you get the things you want, but then you get these things you don't want, and all it takes is a few of those to destroy the whole thing. Then I had my two giant lists, all that I want, all that I don't want. And then I went, this is BS. Not all this is equal. What are the musts? What Out of all the stuff I wrote, what are the must nevers? And what are the must for sures? And then all I did, no BS is I read that damn thing. In the beginning, I was I had gone through a divorce. For my sanity, I read that damn thing every day to remind myself it wasn't about this person. It was about having the right person in my life. It wasn't she or me. It was who do I really want that I'll flourish with? And I got so clear about it. And then I started reading it once a week. And then I think it was about the time of once a month. We met. Mm. We were friends first. That's a longer story we won't have time to share today. But we didn't have that attraction because she was in her masculine. Mm-hmm. And, you know, cause she was running the jail, running her business, making things happen. And all the women around me needed to be fixed. And I was fixing everybody and, and I was being the pleaser. And so we were opposite energies. We weren't being ourselves. So we had a great friendship, but not of a lot of attraction. And then there was a point where we found, we broke through that. We got to our real selves. It was a gift. We mm-hmm. round each other enough as friends that the truth came out. And that's when the sparks flew. But we were on a train actually mm-hmm. in Europe. Uh, we were going uh, on the Orient Express, okay. going literally to Venice through the Swiss Alps, so not not not, <laughs> not that far, far from, from you. you. And it was a beautiful trip. Yeah. We're on the trip, and we were talking about things, and we had so many things in common. At one point, I looked at her and I said, "You are like my best friend, but you're more than that." I said, "You know what? You're my list." And I literally, I used to carry a you know a physical planner, a black you know three ring binder that I did all my day timer type planning in those days. I'm old enough to remember before iPhones, right? <laughs> and um, and what happened was I opened it up and I read the list and I checked off the list and she was literally everything on my list. And I was like, holy cow. And she had done the same thing. She'd made a list as well. So the first thing is get Can't crystal clear, clear mm-hmm. read it every day and get focused on it and visualize it. So you want it so bad, it pulls you towards what you want instead of trying to push through your fear. The second thing I'll say, and we'll, we'll finish this up, but then I know my woman wants to say something here, is you also have to be more afraid of what of happens not. if you don't yeah. break through. It's like, how do you deal with a fear? You find a bigger fear. Yes. And the bigger fear is for you as a love bug, which you clearly are looking mm-hmm. at your face and the way you are, to miss out on the greatest gift of life. Mm-hmm. You can't afford to do that. That's something that should, you should scare you so much that you'll go headlong into the relationship. Even if it's not the right one, you'll learn from it. But I think the attraction strategy is going to be a stronger one for you. And Sana, you're a total love. And I can also sense that you're a faith-filled woman. And to dig down on that faith and to trust something larger, to trust that you're guided, to trust that you're going to be mm. guided and you're going to find the right person. And that man will, you know, as much as you will create that, you know, and, and get clear on those distinctions and clear on what you want, he will come to you. I can promise you that. And, and you will come to him. And, and trusting in love, trusting in God, and trusting that you're guided and having that courage and seeing that through. Okay. Thank that you helpful, very much. Sana? Yes, it was. Thank, uh, you. Take care, Sana. You. thank you so much for calling in. Take Bye-bye. Care. We'll take one more question. I think we're slightly over on time, but we talked. So mm-hmm. I think we've gone over a little bit more than an hour, but pretty close, which is pretty damn good for me. <laughs> <laughs> Just 10 minutes. Uh, we hope this has been helpful for you guys. It's, it's, been, it's been wonderful. And so thank you for the questions. Thank you for calling in and happy Valentine's Day. And just remember, choose love. Choose love each and every day and, you know, celebrate each other and not just on Valentine's Day, <laughs> not true. just on your anniversary. And thank you. And hopefully one day that we'll see you at a program or if not, hopefully if you want to go deeper with this, it's like for us as well, we have that practice. We have those rituals that didn't come by chance. So if you're interested in that, I believe on the website, you know, we're offering our, our ultimate relationship program. So if you want to go deeper with us, please do. And if not, hopefully we'll see you again on one of these again.
Thanks for re reaching in. Uh, thanks for letting us use the technology. Thank you to the people here at Vocal that allowed us yes, to be able to absolutely. see people. It's so cool to be able to see your face and know and your what's going on. And, and your tweets. I've yes. been taking a peek at some of them coming through. So yes. thank you for your support. Thank you for your love and take care. Drop us some notes if you would on Twitter or yes. Facebook. We'll check in and see what's going on there. And we have our relationship blog there at TonyRobbins.com. If you got some other questions, we can hopefully respond to a few more. And hopefully we'll do some things like this in nature. In the meantime, live strong and live with passion from our bed. <laughs> <laughs> Live with passion. Happy, Please do tweet and keep in touch. Happy Valentine's Day, everybody. Take care. Bye-bye. Happy Valentine's Day. Take care.